Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change your MySQLite password for newly built XAMPP distribution. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do, you need to go to the XMAP control panel and start Apache MySQL, both of them. Now click on add of my page URL. You can see it's not asking for any kind of password. So you can change it. There is two methods to change it or give the password or set up password for PHP my admin login or my school login. Number one method is command line method. For this we need to go a p s c a g apache friends a p r i e n d s apache friends slash f a q okay here it is so now you can see the first link arrived here it's a apache friends x a m p p distributions link what we need to do we need to go here and come down okay and find out for the solution in the find field you can type my sql then hit the next button here it is how to change okay so copy this link just copy this link and close it we don't need anymore now what you need to do open a text reader and paste the comment here so remember it is your password i am going to change it to my p a s my pass that's it now copy whole line again and in the my sql section go to the shell okay and paste the password hit enter that's it you change the password but here is the question if you click on here you will see this error message because we did not configure the mysqli login or configuration file yet so what i need to do first of all go to c file or c folder here c drive go to the xmap distribution installation folder for me it's c slash xmap and then you need to go to the gmail file now check out for the config file here it is config.ins.php and then change the config here authorization type make it quick c double k i e cookie and allow no password section you must change it to false f a l a c false okay so what it will do this line it says if you are not using any password then what to do i mean false so if user is not putting any password here then it will not going to accept the request okay if it is true that means allow password allow no password is okay that means no password is also valid so just change it to a false save it and go here again hit the refresh button you can see it's asking for the password what was one password that was this part my first copy it paste it here and go hola you successfully changed your password for my school database okay but what if you want to change the password with uh, some other stuff there is a command line method as well but i am not going to show you that i am going to show you something that called user account method you can go here and hit the root it is your only user that's it edit the privileges and hit the change password section you can see you can change the password before i change it i want to show you something that here if we type something like i am going to change my password to test okay it's a proof actually is it here go it will say you cannot access because the password is not set. The password is set to this okay so if i access this it will allow now what i need to do password 
password in password in it to that's you successfully change the password again. so now test it reload it and what I am to do I want to test this is it live let's it yeah it's not giving you the access okay so what it does now our new password is this it is not valuable yet not valuable okay right now so now I want to pass this or test test I'm going to pass test here and hit go you can see it is making loading now you know how to change and update your password the command line okay next video I will show you no command line method till then goodbye